And the National Weather Service is now working to make its watch warning and advisory system a little less confusing. Everyone's also encouraged to take part in a survey. And Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith shows us how you can do that. Mark, research by the National Weather Service concludes the term advisory is most misunderstood. The core proposal from the Hazard Simplification Project is being presented now. One of the things that we're striving to, to uh, fix about the system is to make it a little bit more simple, a little less confusing, um, and to bring it down to just a two-term system of, of watch and warning. Daniel Nagel, the senior project advisor at the National Weather Service, says the term advisory may go away, but that doesn't mean the message for these hazards will disappear. So it's a slightly less significant event than what would warrant a warning. A winter weather advisory is commonly used. For us, that's two to four inches of snow. This proposal would be um, just telling folks that, you know, it's not rising to the level of watch warning, but hey, there's going to be two to four inches of snow this evening that you might want to keep an eye on. The headline would tell you exactly what to expect instead of labeling the hazard as an advisory. So this is our, our really our final level of feedback. As everyone is encouraged to participate in a survey. It allows you to, to let us know what your gut reaction is um, to not having this advisory term anymore. A system Nagel has worked on for the last three years. It's a, a short survey, but it, it means a lot to us to, to hear from everybody. Uh, so we'll have our work cut out for us in, in analyzing these results and making a final decision. For most people, the survey will take less than five minutes, and you can find a link to that survey at WDTN.com on the As Seen on 2 news page. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith. All right, Carly, thanks. You get all